everyone, Katie here from Clark's Condensed. Today I'm going to do a, cri a Cricut tutorial for you on how to use iron-on vinyl. Um, this is a really useful skill to know how to use with your Cricut um, because you can do all sorts of things, t-shirts, pillows, any type of apparel and things like that. So I'm going to do a t-shirt for you today. I picked up a black, I don't think it's black, but just a t-shirt from Target that I'm going to be using. And so we'll start by showing you how to make your design in the Cricut de Design Space and then how to apply it to your material. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your Cricut Design Space um, on in your browser. And here you can come and um, make your design. I like to use the set canvas because it makes it so you can make things as pretty specific um, to your design. So I'm going to scroll down. I have a v-neck t-shirt that I'm using and that was, let's see, that's right here. Um, and as you see, I usually, so I'll, I would recommend um, zooming out just so you can see the whole shirt. So you can do front and back if you want, but I'm just doing front for this. So I'm using text for this one. So you just press the text box and you, I'm doing one that says mom of boys. And so I'll drag that down to where I want it on the shirt, which is why it's helpful to have the canvas so you can see exactly where it's going to go in the size because I always have trouble with that otherwise. Um, and then I'm going to come over here to edit and select a different font. And there it is. So I'm using the Outdoor Man font, which is a Cricut font that came with my um, Cricut Access um, subscription, which I highly recommend if you're going to be using a lot of different fonts. So, Mom of Boys, and then I'm going to do another text that says outnumbered, because I have two little boys and I thought this would be a fun shirt. I've seen other people that have it. And I'm going to change that font um, to this one. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Um, and once you have your design, you can put pictures, whatever you want on here. But once I have my design, um, I'm going to have this being the same kind of um, vinyl. I'm using the silver uh, iron-on vinyl. So I'm going to go to layers and select both by pressing control. Then I can grab both and then press weld. Um, so then they'll print off together. But if you're going to be using different colors of um, vinyl for your project, you can um, don't press weld because um, then they'll print at the same time and you don't want them to. So next we're going to press go. And at this point in the project, you're going to want to press um, mirror image for the iron on because I've made the mistake many times when I've been using vinyl where I don't press that and then it's backwards and you don't want that on your shirt. So you'll press the mirror image for iron on and then make sure everything looks right there and then press go. So at this point, um, you're gonna wanna set your dial or edit the custom materials. Fortunately for iron on, they have on the machine a button for iron on. So we'll just go ahead and turn it to that. Um, which makes it nice and easy, but I still recommend doing the test cut just in case. Um, and then it's going to say to load the material. Turn on, you want to make it so the shiny side is down, otherwise it won't work, obviously. So, I just have a small piece right here, but usually I would use the bigger, the bigger spin on your machine, like that. And then, make sure all your materials on there, all just like how you want it. And... Once it's loaded in there, the cricket button will start to load or will start to blink. Um, there we go. So you can press that. And since this is kind of a, it was kind of rolling up at the end. I held it down while it went in, but it should be good to go now. And then you just press go, and it'll start to cut. So just have to be patient for a little while as it does that. Um, the machine works pretty well. Um, it goes pretty quickly and it's not too loud. Um, I haven't had any issues with this one. This is the Cricut Explore Air 1 um, and I really like it. It works great with so many different projects and especially with this iron-on. Now that it's done cutting you'll press the, um, the load unload button and it'll pop it out there for you. And now, okay so now you'll um, pull off all the excess material. Um, like this, you can use your weeding tool if you want, but I find that usually you, can, you have, I have pretty good luck with just pulling it up. Um, as you'll see, I have you know some of these letters. I'll have to go back and weed out those center parts, but 
I don't know, some people might not like doing it this way, but I find it goes faster than individually weeding each piece. Yeah, so something you can do that I obviously didn't do is that you can just go through and get those smaller pieces first. With the smaller text like this, it's probably a good idea to weed it as well. Just because, you, as you saw, it kind of took me a little bit more effort to get some of those pieces. Uh, now the weeding's done, with, and now it's ready to go onto the material, and it's backwards, just like it should be, because when you put it onto your um, your shirt or your pillow or whatever, it should show up um, the right way. Okay, now we're ready to apply the, the vinyl to this t-shirt. Um, first, you're going to want to preheat the shirt, which means just lightly going over it. Um, you'll set the iron to cotton slash linen, so one of the hotter settings. So you'll do this for about 10 to 15 seconds to preheat the material. And this is important to do all these steps, even though they might seem kind of annoying. But So now you'll apply the material with the, with the uh, part that you want on it facing down, obviously. So you'll put it on like this. Oh, about 20 seconds, just back and forth. No, it's okay. You don't want to stay in any place too long, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, I behind. And now you'll have about a 10 to 15 second cool down period, which you need to do. So just let it set for about 10 to 15 seconds. 10, 9, 9 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Now you can see it. It's all done. Perfect. Woo! And that's how you use iron-on uh, material with the Cricut Explorer. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.